Ladies and gentlemen, your DJ for tonight has spent hours setting up his lights. He spent ages performing sound checks. Hey, what's up, people? It's your guy here, DJ Cliff. Welcome again to this wonderful channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing and telling a friend about this wonderful channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Anyway, today I just want to teach you something about this FL Studio 21. This is the uh, software which we usually use to make music. So today I just want to show you how you're going to do that on your FL Studio. I want to walk you through one of the most important buttons here because as at first as you interact with your FL Studio, this is what you'll come across with. Like right here you see we have this the pattern where you'll always put your final uh, uh your track after you've done your modification or edited of or you've done uh the complete thing on your tracks and then this is the piano roll where you'll always be making your uh melodies using the piano roll and then this is what you'll come across when you first open your fl studio after your first installation so this is the patterns where you'll always put your tracks in your fl studios like for example if you put here this is the first beat the second and third so that's how you do on your fl studio and then this button you see right here it is your mixer it shows you what kind of uh, songs you've put it may be in your uh, pattern one pattern two pattern three uh, in, i mean in in this section right here when you put it to one it will uh, show you you've put in one if you put it two you'll see this line is turning green this line two and three and four so so these numbers are very essential when you've loaded your songs in this section which i'm just going to show you how you're going to load your songs in your fl studio and then this right here it is your bpm if you want it to be at least 90 beats per minute you just right, right click it and put it at 90 beats per minute if you want it to be uh, a hand, I mean 110 BPM, you can also put it to 110 BPM. So for me, let, we shall, we, our, for, for our project for today, we are going to run it at at least 90 beats per minute and uh, I've already set it. And then if maybe you want to toggle some changes, you can just come here in the option settings and then go to uh, the general settings right here. And you see uh, MDI, I, I don't have the MIDI, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Ensure that you have a stronger CPU to have very good interaction with the FL Studio. The general ones, these are the things, the file, the themes. If you want to change your theme, maybe to look like, like this or like that or like this. It is your taste. So choose the one which, which matches your choice. So for me, let me just go with the default one. You want to start with uh, the beats. At least because this is 90 beats per minute, at least you have to put the metronome. So this is the metronome which shows you how much the beat is going to sound like in your, in your FL studio. So we are going to play this, to tap this metronome right here. And then you're going to play it. Like you can see, when you press the metronome it just gives you how the beats are going to sound like so we are going to play the metronome and then we are going to put our beats on this um switches here it's just like a switch right here so let's press the play button and uh, try to make our first beat in the fl studio Like, let's try to make some little changes.
I guess this is the best way uh, we, shall, we, shall, we shall just leave this H08 kick the way it's supposed to be. And remember, if you want to delete this kind of bit, you just right click. You right click and then it's going to delete it. So we're going to uh, leave at that. <clears throat> now we are going for the he hat, <clears throat> the one which sounds kind of uh, like I'm, I'm sure most of you know more about he hat. So we are going to play, I mean, to, uh, to press the he hat. I want it to be continuous. So you should have a pattern in your brains to perform such a maneuver right here. So let's play and try to see what kind of um, of the pattern you're going to put there. So I've just released the metronome and you're going to play, I mean, to, to put the he hats because already we have found the beats. So let's try and see. Yes, we've, we have already uh, added our pattern in the he hat. You can see it sounds so nice. So uh, at least let's add some claps and see how if it's going to match with this pattern we already added right down here. So it should sound like So let's go and at least add those claps. So the essence of me showing you this, I just want to show you why it's not even easy to perform all those patterns on this section. So what you need to do again, just come to this clap here, clap here, and then right click. And then it's going to give you these options. We have the piano roll, we have the graph editor. So we are going for the piano roll, and then we are going to press our metronome to see what which, which section we're going to add these ones. So let's press and play. Wow, it's wise and nicely done. So we've seen it's so important even to add your piano roll right here. So it's really done. We are going to add some effects, but I think the he hat is a bit uh, lightly louder. So we are going to right click on the he hat and then you're, you're going to the graph editor right here. So <clears throat> the graph editor is just this note. It is the, the volume, uh, the velocity of the, of the he hat. So we are going to reduce a little bit right at least right here for the essence of illustration because this is just not anything you just come in just 10 minutes and make um, a bit it takes some time so for the essence i'm just gonna do that and then we're going to play it and see the difference of how it's going to sound like It is nicely done. So let's go add some uh, effects. So how to add those effects to just come again to this uh, button you see right here. You see we have some graphs and some patterns right here, which is which which represent how this looks like. So we have some <clears throat> we have some uh, plugins right here where you will always load them to this section here. You just come and add them right here so let's just try and test these strings and see how it's going to sound like so this one is at least nice so remember this is number one two three four 
and uh, I'm, I've just left this icon of the mixer open so that you can see naming how important naming of these sides is so important so we're going to name this and you should be looking at this side so this one is going to be number five you see number five now it's well included in, in this section right here then right click because remember this is a melody we want to put some melodies on the piano roll so we have the piano roll right here yeah i want it to be uh, this way so let's play again So it's nicely done so let's continue and uh, at least extend our heat to be at least at four so we are going to put the piano roll and then you're going to at least extend it at least to this point number four so just be keen enough to watch this it's very crucial for you to see this so we are going to uh, zoom by just putting your mouse at least at this section right here and zoom so zooming put your mouse to add this section and zoom and then <clears throat> let's see how it's going to sound like so this is the pattern how many boxes one two three four so we are we, are, we, we need to be skipping four boxes as always so we're going to tap this <clears throat> this way then four boxes one two three four one two three one two three four you put right here one two three four it uh what point are we let's continue adding our our points again one two three four one two three four one two three four so let's zoom oh it's at not point number three we want it to, to be at point number four so let's continue adding one two three four one two three four let's continue one two three four one two three four four is here one two three four hmm. let's play and see how it's gonna sound there's some wait a little bit there's some uh you know what one two three four one two three four you have to be very careful not to confuse one two three four it's okay one two three here is the problem so again to delete it and put it here then delete this one one two three four so these lines this is where our point four is i want you to look at this very keenly and try to practice it by yourself this is the best tutorial so far no one has ever elaborated this well and this is just because i love you guys two three so i'm going to delete this one one two three four this point right here please ensure you subscribe please subscribe so it's well done we are going for our piano roll 
and we're going to extend it to point number four i want to leave this i want this pattern to be well and nice so i want it to be sound i want it to sound like Te -re 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 -te. so it should remain it should just repeat the same pattern mm. as always so i'm going to put it again mm. once here uh then point number two it was at this point isn't it mm. yes mm. So let's listen to this. It is nicely done. So it just matters on how you edit your tracks. I mean, you edit well, you need to edit them very, very well. So let me play to extend our claps. <laughs> So that one is well or nicely done. So our he hat, I think it is supposed to go at least up to number four. So it is just not something you just wake up and continue doing it. It is something which you need to be practicing more and more to be familiar with this uh, uh, FL studio. So we're going to zoom this out. And then we're going to make sure the same same pattern is seen. So tap that one, tap that one, one box, one box, one box. So it should be in one box, one box, one box, the same same pattern. If you want to change it to maybe to your point, you can also do that. But for the end of this practice, you want you to practice with this. If you'll do this alone on your own and continue doing on on your own every day i'm sure you'll be sorted out and helped it's not hard for you to perform this in your fl studio no one has ever, ever elaborated this far but it's only me so please ensure you subscribe for more videos and more maneuvers and toggles for the fl studio so up to number four i want to do uh, systematically so that you understand yes up to that point so let's listen to this again <laughs> mm. okay it's nicely done so uh this is the playlist number one I, I i remember showing you this you have to put it right here so you need to come at this point uh on this section here and then right click on this box right here then you copy this then you come to this point here and then you're going to put your track here then you're going to color your track number one or this is just a random color but if you want to set your color you can also do the same like this point here you can rename it, rename it and put like maybe great sorry great great one and then the color you can put it to yellow and then tick that that is our great tune number one
So if you play the song, when you come at this section right here, you play it. If you want to copy this this uh, this uh, tune to repeat itself, you can just left click it and then come to, come to this number five and click it at once more. So it's going to sound the same. So uh, we are going for our track number two. So we are going to, to rename it at two. So I don't want you to be confused on the uh, the pattern number one. So we're going for the number pattern number two. So we are going to add maybe uh, a, another string, some guitar. So we are going to look for the guitar right here. Maybe let's try putting acoustic. Let's try to see how it's going to sound like. Remember, you have to put it put, um, to be number six. Leave this apart. I want this video to be very simple. And then you're going for our piano roll. You see, it's nice. So let's put a metronome again. Ding, 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 ding. So I'm going to zoom this, but I don't like this uh, acoustic. Let me go, let me delete this and uh, add another one. So if, if it does not, if you don't like this, you can just do the same. Just delete this part and go look for something else. Let's try looking at the bass. The bass is not so nice. Let me look for the symbols, the instruments. What do we have in the instruments? The keyboard. What do we have in the keyboard? What do you have in the orchestrals? Let's try to see this picked hub. Let's try to see how it sounds like. Okay, this one's this one might work. Remember to name it. So I'm going to name it at, po at pattern number six. Then right click. Then we are going for the piano roll. Okay, let's play our metronome. So after adding that, you're going to add some little bears on our track. I want it to match.
So again, we're going to zoom out. 